Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Merritt. I am so excited to start module two, lesson one. And we're gonna learn about something totally new. Now I'm sure you know some things about what we're gonna learn about, but we're gonna dive right in to something that's all around us, and that is shapes everywhere. So today, you're going to need something to write with and something to write on. And our objective is I can find, so we can look and see, and describe, so we can use maybe some descriptor words like their colors, maybe how many sides they have, 2D shapes, so those flat shapes, not the ones that are 3D, but 2D shapes. But today we're not gonna focus on their names. So our objective, once again, is I can find and describe 2D shapes. Okay, when you have something to write with and something to write on, go ahead and unpause me. Okay, so I am so excited. First, we're gonna get warmed. So for our warm-up today, we need our hands. And so grab those hands out over here, right here, okay? And let's count how many dots are on top, starting with our pinky. Get that pinky ready. One, two, three, four. So I've got five on top. And how many dots below? Just one. So we're going to take that one below. Total, we have six. Okay, let's do it again. Let's count how many we have up on top. One, two, three, four, five. We've got five up top. And how many down below? Let's look. One, two. So we've got five up top, two below. How many do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, you're rocking it. One more, okay? Okay, let's count how many we have now up top. One, two, three, four, five. And how many on the bottom? One, two, three. So look at it. Got five up top and three. See all my fingers. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight dots. Very good. Okay, now we are going to dive right into that lesson that I promised you about today. Okay, so let's look right here. What do we see here? Hmm. Shapes. You're right. We see a bunch of different shapes. Now, some of you may know the names of these shapes. Some of you may not. That's okay. That's what we're going to learn. We're going to eat Throughout the module, we're going to learn all these different names of shapes and some of their features. But today, we're just going to look with our eyes. We're not going to worry about their name. And we're going to talk about what we see when we look at each shape. Okay, so let's get rolling. Okay, okay, so here is our first shape right up in this right hand corner over here. So I'm going to put my mouse on there and I want you to look at it and pause me and think about what you see when you look at this shape. Maybe you know the name of it already, maybe you don't, but I want you to just think about what you see when you look at that shape. Unpause me when you're all finished and we'll talk about it. Okay, so for today we're going to talk about the types of sides the shapes have, the number of sides the shapes have, and maybe even the color of our shapes or the size. Those are things I can all see from this picture. So let's start with the types of sides this shape has. Look at these lines right here. Are they curved or are they straight? Hmm. 
Okay, let's do this together. So I want you to put up your pinky finger. Your pinky, all the way down, is a straight right now when you put it up like that. It's a straight line. When you makes a curved line. So is this shape, do we have straight lines or do we have curved lines? We have straight lines. So this shape we know has straight lines. Now let's count how many sides. I'm going to move my mouse around and at each point that makes one side. So from point to point, that's one side. So one point here, one, point to point, two, point to point, three. Okay, very good. This shape has straight lines and it has three sides. What color is it? And it is yellow. Very good. So what we can see about the shape, straight lines, there's three sides, and it is yellow. Does anyone know the name of the shape just for a challenge? It's a triangle, and we're going to learn all about triangles coming up. Let's go to our next shape. Okay, I want you to do exactly what you did before. I want you to look at the shape which is over here in the right hand corner. And I want you to tell me what you see when you look at it. So remember, we're focusing on the number of sides, if the lines are straight or curvy, and the color of the shape. Okay, I'm so glad you're back. Let's see. So remember, when we count sides, we count point to point of sides. So let's count how many sides the shape has. And I'm gonna put a finger up as we go from point to point to help us. Okay, so here's, we're gonna start at this corner. We stopped at another point, two, three. Shape has four sides. Are they straight? or are they curvy? They are straight, very good. And look at these sides. Look at, is this line the same as this line? Well, you may say yes, because they're both straight, but they're actually one line. This line right here is, does anyone know the name? A rectangle, very good. We know about a rectangle, it has two sides that are smaller and two sides that are longer. Okay, you are rocking it, let's keep going. Another very cool shape. I want you to pause me, look, and then think about what you see. Okay. Let's talk about what we see when we look at this shape. Does anyone happen to know the name of this shape? It is a circle, okay? And even though we're not focusing on the names, it's okay, because some of us know the names. So let's talk about it. So we see a circle. Now, I'm looking at this shape. Are the lines straight? Or are they curvy? They are curvy. Look at, they just go, if I put, what does my hand look like? My hands make a circle. Very good. So we have the, a circle. It's curvy lines. And when there's no straight lines, straight lines when they meet, they have a point. So are there any sides to this circle? No, there are no sides to this circle actually. It's okay, and for our last shape we're gonna look at today, it is right over here. I want you to pause me again. 
look at it and tell me what you see. Okay, so let's talk about what we see. Let's start with the shape. Are they or are they curvy? They are straight. They're straight lines. And now let's talk about how many sides this shape has. Okay, so here we go. We go one point, two, remember you stop at each point, three, four. So this shape has four sides and they actually are all the same length. Look it, they're not shorter or longer. Does anyone know the name of this shape? It is a square. Very, very good. So before we leave each other today, I just want to do one more thing. We are gonna play a little game and we're gonna need our hand signals for this game. So you're gonna need your yes. So this is yes and this is no, okay? Get those hand signals ready. Okay, so I am super excited for this game. What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about shapes with Okay, so let's see. We're gonna figure out the shapes that have a curve and the shapes that do not have a curve. So those straight lines, does it have curved lines? Yes. So we would move it up to shapes with a curve. Now for some reason the aliens don't wanna to move today. So we're gonna use our hand signals. So when I point to one at the mouse, with the mouse, we're just gonna say yes or no. I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? Look at this shape right here. Does it have straight lines or curved lines? Does it have straight lines? Yes, it does. Very good, there's no curve. Okay, so we would move it over to shapes without a curve. Let's look at this one. Straight or curved? Does this shape have curved lines? No, just straight lines. Very good. Straight lines in our rectangle or curved lines? Straight lines. Okay. Or straight lines. Does it have straight lines? No. Does it have curved lines? Yes. Okay, moving on over to our next shape. Or straight lines. Does the shape have straight lines? Yes, it does. Very good. Okay, and our last one. Does this shape have curved lines? No, it has straight lines. Remember, an easy way to tell is when the points connect and you can count the number of sides. When they're curved, it's a little bit circle or an oval. We'll learn about that later. But today we learned we learned curved and straight lines. We learned how to count the number of sides going from point to point. But most importantly, we learned to observe, which means see, and then talk about what we're seeing. You guys did an amazing job today. I'm looking forward to seeing your exit ticket, which is attached below. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.